Hello, my dear friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is very dreary and cold weather here in my place here in Charlottesville, Virginia. Um, and we had like 80 degrees, I think, a day ago, whatever it was. So rude awakening. We're all kind of um, huddling in place today. But what a great day for a candle review, right? <laughs> and I have something so special for you today. I have a candle review or a first impression of a completely new candle company, at least to this channel. And it may be for you, even if you are up to date in the candle community. Today I have for you the candle company Stonewall Home. Stonewall Home looks like so. Here's a Stonewall Home candle. I'll bring it up to you. Um, this is their largest vessel that they offer. It's 21.25 ounces. Um, and Stonewall Home is the creation of Stonewall Kitchen. So Stonewall Kitchen, you're probably very familiar with. Stonewall Kitchen is this company here. They do a lot of jams. They do a lot of pasta sauces. They do like this specialty food items that you've probably seen at Macy's or more high-end grocery stores. You've probably seen them at TJ Maxx and Marshall's. I know they're always there in that food aisle. Um, so Stonewall Kitchen now has a new line of candles and I want to say it's about a year and a half old. It's very, very new. And when I tried to look up online, do some research on what people thought of these candles, I didn't really find a whole lot because I think they're so new. So, um, Stonewall Kitchen recently acquired Village Candle. Many of you are familiar with Village Candle. Here's a Village Candle right here. Basically look like Yankee Candles. I noticed these starting to come up at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I don't know, seven years ago, something like that, you know. Um, I actually thought they were knockoffs by Marshalls um, and TJ Maxx themselves, like their proprietary one. It's actually not. Village Candle is a main company. And I think they just struck a really good deal with Marshalls and TJ Maxx because there was a certain point where like all of the clearance Yankee candles just like disappeared for a hot second. And then they were all superseded by Village Candle, which made me suspicious of Village Candle. And I don't think I've given them a fair shake. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, Stonewall Kitchen recently acquired Village Candle. You can find Village Candle on Stonewall Kitchen's website. Um, and yeah, we may do more with Village Candle in the future. Not to be confused though with their new line Stonewall Home, which they have developed um, properly under their own brand, not acquired from somebody else. And to my knowledge, and maybe the same folks now who are developing and creating both Village and Stonewall, but they're definitely making a distinction between those two companies. As, and as you can tell, there's like an aesthetic difference here. Although these are both 21.25 ounces, as you can see, very different in their aesthetic. I really love this aesthetic. They're calling these apothecary jars, which these could be called apothecaries as well. Um, they're a very old school Yankee Candle, like almost, I would call it a mason jar kind of design personally, um, but you could call it apothecary too. So I love that there's a simplicity to this, but there's kind of a little bit of a connection with the country, the old school New England country candle approach at the same time. They've just got a very simple tin lid here with their logo. Um, and the color offerings from this company, I've got several of them. Um, the shades of the wax are so beautiful. They're subtle, they're clean, they're cool. Um, and their labels, which are meant with each scent name to kind of with the font, look as if it's just been written on. It kind of connects to their like kitchen home goods, like aesthetic. Um, but, but there's like a classiness about this line as well. Price wise, it might be a little bit more than Village, but not by a whole lot. And I've noticed, or at least I suspect, 
that this company runs a lot of discounts. And that often happens with like specialty home goods companies. They're constantly running sales. Today, they just texted me and are like, 25% off all day long flash sale. I think this happens a lot. So definitely consider that discounts on these are gonna be probably readily available if you cruise on their website. And um, it is free shipping over $50, which is great. It's not 100 like some companies are, it's 50. And they were running a special for President's Day and it was like free shipping over $25. Again, I get the sense that this happens a lot. And this is what is really gonna, oh gosh, gosh, I almost dropped that. This is what is going to be value added for buying a candle through a company that doesn't just specialize in candles. Okay, so let's talk about these vessels and how I became aware of them. I picked up a candle at Wegmans Grocery Store. We have a Wegmans here in Charlottesville. Some of you might, there's a cult following for Wegmans. It's kind of a, a, a higher end grocery store approaching Whole Foods, but not quite there. Um, so of course, because I'm a candle fiend, I walked into the candle aisle to smell all their candles. It doesn't matter if they're mediocre or not. Um, I think they had some Tuscany. Um, they had some root candles. I've reviewed them from Medina, Ohio. Um, and then they had these ones that I didn't know about, which was Stonewall um, Home. And I saw the Stonewall and I wondered if it was the same company as Stonewall Kitchen, but I couldn't really tell. So when I came home, I checked the website. They had three or four of these candles at Wegmans. Three of them were like, I don't know. I thought they were kind of basic and I didn't think they smelled all that powerful. So I was kind of passing. I think there was a warm maple, there was like a vanilla, there was a lavender. And then I got to this one and this, this was everything. So this is tarragon and basil. I don't know if you can see that. Tarragon and basil. Oh my gosh, the minute I open this lid, I'm like, stop. <laughs> First of all, you're coming home with me today. They were even on sale too. And number two, this is extraordinary. Um, so imagine if you just put your nose in a bowl of fresh cut herbs. That's what this smells like. I mean, like the authenticity is off the chart, off the chart and it's strong. I mean, it's just all the good things for me. I, I love botanicals. I love that fresh, green, authentic, plant-like thing. Oh, incredible. It was, it's, it's, it's an extraordinary candle. So I bought it, he came home, and then I looked up Stonewall Home, found the website, um, did some research on the company, and then I ordered several candles, several different um, uh, formats and sizes, et cetera, so that I could get a good first impression. I just wanna take a sidebar here and show you. This is the box um, that all the candles came in right here. Really big box. Um, got my, my, my shipping. All right, so amazing packaging. Every candle was wrapped in paper and in this like, I call it Velcro brown paper. So they didn't even have to tape it because you wrap it and like the way that this brown paper is cut, it just kind of like Velcros, right? All they did was wrap each individual candle like this and then suspend it in all of these peanuts. Everything was, it was a big enough box for everything to be suspended and packed in these peanuts. These peanuts are biodegradable. You put them in water and they just all like dissolve and disappear. It's incredible. Very high marks for the shipping. Very professional, but at the same time, like simple. And you know, I don't know, just, just you got the sense these people know what they're doing, right? Um, which is, Sometimes not the case for candle companies. <laughs> they are very experienced shipping all of these glass products across the country, jams, pasta, jars, etc. And it shows, it really shows. The packaging was top notch. It was a little on the slow side. I think they definitely saved a few bucks just going super ground <laughs> shipping, but I'll take it. It was, it was 
it's beautiful. Okay, so let's talk about the sizes that I've got here. I've showed you this one here, which is this tarragon and basil. This is what they're calling a medium apothecary. And then I also showed you this one right here, which is a large apothecary, okay? So the large apothecary has two wicks. Um, these are, by the way, all soy blend candles. I don't know what they're blended with, but it's a soy blend. Um, the large apothecary is 21.25 ounces, fairly standard, and the price for this is $23.95, I believe, which is a pretty good price, especially if it's a lot on discount, okay? Um, their medium apoth, this is medium apothecary, again, has the two wicks, and this one is 13.75 ounces, and it goes for $18.95, okay? They have really invested in this medium size here because they've got another similar option. This is what they're calling a bowl. I don't know why. The bowl is 15 ounces. So it's about, it's one ounce and 0.25 more than the medium, but obviously comparable. This one has straight sides. So think kind of like your Bath and Body Works, but it's, you know, a see-through glass, et cetera. Um, and because it's got just a little bit of extra surface area, it also has three wicks as opposed to the two, but otherwise they're fairly comparable sizes. I think it's super thoughtful. Um, one of them is gonna burn a little bit faster and a little bit louder with that three wicks, and they've even given you an extra ounce. Um, and then this one is gonna burn a little bit slower and a little bit softer, and it's got the true apothecary lip there. I actually think these are a little bit more charming looking. I would probably go with these, but if I was maybe a little bit concerned about strength or throw, I might go for a three, and I really appreciate the option. Both of these are $18.95, so you've got a nice choice there. Then they have what they call a petite apothecary looks like these cuties right here, okay? These cuties are 3.25 ounces and they are a single wick, okay? Nice glass. They are $8.95, which I kind of thought was a little pricey um, for these little babies. Um, they're obviously less though and they allow you to buy something small, especially mail order. You don't know what it smells like before you commit to something that's larger. So I really appreciate that. And I don't mind paying a little bit of a premium for it. Um, 3.25 ounces for 8.95. So I was thinking like the, the Kringle um, Daylights, which I actually really like because those are nice to sample things in. The Kringle Daylights are I think 1.5 ounces. So a little tiny bit less than half of this. And I think they go for 3.50. I believe three dollars fifty cents so considering that this is double it would be like seven dollars whereas this is 8.95 it's a two dollar upcharge now granted it is a glass vessel it's not like a plastic one um so it's really cute really sweet um and classy looking um and if it's on discount you're gonna get it for less than that um but i would like if it was maybe more in the 6.99 realm like a seven dollars maybe max 750. i would like that better but god bless i'm glad that they've got this option okay um and then i also have um some wax melts here they're really cute they're like in the shape of the apothecary um and these come in 2.2 ounces which is fairly standard for a wax melt these are 4.95 but there was only one scent that had the wax melts available and they were clearanced off. So I went ahead and got it, but I suspect they're phasing out of the wax melts for the Stonewall home. And I think they're just gonna go with the apothecary. So um, yeah, they are gonna continue with the wax melts, I think for Village Candle, but I think they're probably discontinuing them for this Stonewall home. I went ahead and got it though, because why not? It was on clearance and I could smell another scent. Okay, so I have several scents here and I'm just going to show them to you real quick. And then we're gonna talk about them real quick, but I haven't burned any of them. So they're just gonna be really quick first impressions. I bought candles that I thought I would like in the scent notes, which means I didn't buy, there were a few gourmands 
in the line I didn't get for those of you who are gourmand. Oh my gosh, one of them was called rosemary bread. It was like freshly baked rosemary, like a focaccia, whatever. I know there are those of you out there who love those candles. You're probably not gonna see it reviewed on this channel, but know that they exist. There were several fruity ones, um, and there were a couple seasonal ones as well, a fresh balsam, a pumpkin one, etc. So I think I probably got a little over half of the ones that they've got on their um, website. They've got a couple that are brand new. It was like a, what was it? It was a, it was a rose colored one that they just came out with and I can't remember what it was. And then they have like a, I don't know, a key lime mousse. I don't know. So they do come out with scents that are new, um, but it will be a little bit more of a limited range than say Yankee Candle or Kringle Candle. And we may not see a ton of newness, but they've got a good range. Okay, so the one lone large one that I have is Driftwood. Here's Driftwood. It's a beautiful like, slate soft gray. And then I have two apothecary mediums. I've got a tarragon and basil. This is the one that I bought at the grocery store. And then I have sandy beach. And sandy beach is in this um, sand colored. And then I have one bowl. This one is um, Palo Santo. It's kind of like a slate gray blue. And then I have several minis. So I have this one, which is like a um, cream. This is fresh linen. And then I have winter white. And then I have cashmere, which um, is a little bit of a darker slate blue. And then of course I have um, the wax melts here, which are kind of like a taupe and it is ocean dunes. So I've got a lot here and I'm just gonna go through them. The really cool thing about Stonewall Home is that while when you go on the website, they will give you in detail what the top notes are, what the mid notes are, what the base notes are, um, just like you would for Kringle or Yankee or whatever. Um, on the actual label itself, they do provide in the corner little cliff notes of what the scents are. So they select like three or maximum four like main punchy um, scent notes from that candle and they put those on the front, which is really nice. They don't take over the entire label, but at first glance, they give you like a ballpark sense of what it is that you're gonna be smelling. And if you want more, you can go to the website. I didn't really list any of the complex um, scent descriptions because I really hope as I burn them to do more in-depth reviews and then I'll give you all of those scents then. So we're just gonna go through more or less what is written on the jar. I'm gonna start out with the ones that I feel the strongest about and that I'm the most excited about. So I'm gonna start with, ironically, it was the one that was the wax melt. I thought this was amazing, but it's an amazing candle for me. I do think it's an extraordinary candle on a certain level though too. So this is Ocean Dunes right here. Um, it's a beachy vibe. And um, it says that the main scent notes are orange blossom, tuberose, and white amber. Oh my gosh. And when you smell it, you get gardenia right off, which is actually not one of the scent notes, but tuberose from what I can tell is very similar to gardenia. It's actually sharper, but this is a softer, this is a softer kind. It's, it's mainly a fresh, botanical gardenia um, that's really just beautiful. Um, and then there's something all around it that is, that is beachy, but it's hard to put your finger on why. It smells a little bit coconut, a little bit tropical, like maybe a little salty. And it's just, it's just like a je ne sais quoi element, right? From what I can tell, tuberose is actually like gardenia, but it also has some weird like coconut water dimensions to it, which is maybe why I'm smelling some coconut and why I'm smelling some salt. In the larger um, list of notes, they also had 
they just were like tropical fruit, pineapple. I don't think that they mentioned coconut. So it may be coming from the tuberose or from their tropical fruit accord. And on the bottom was like sandalwood, musk, amber, your like regular beach kind of um, scent combo. Oh gosh, it's gorgeous. It's floral and beachy at the same time and fresh. And man, you feel like it's sea breeze. I am so in love with this and I hope that it really burns well. So that is Ocean Dunes. Very similar, we've got Sandy Beach, kind of a similar vibe here. And the three notes here are coconut, sandalwood, amber, and musk, so four elements. And they're all pretty basic, um, beachy kind of vibes. And I love this one too. You know I love a sandalwood, musk. And then if you add amber and coconut, like done, where do I sign? And I'm getting all of that. There is a lot of amber, not as much sandalwood. I would say a lot of amber, some musk and some coconut. That's what I'm getting. For all of these candles, there is a creaminess to each one of these scents. Even the punchier scents, there's just a creaminess. It's smooth, perfectly blended, nothing sharp, nothing out of balance, with the possible exception of tarragon basil, which is freshly cut herbs in your nose. <laughs> there, is, there is a sharpness and not a creaminess to that. I mean, that is just pure authenticity, okay? So here's Sandy Beach, loving that because I love the beach vibes. From there, let's go to our minis. Shall we do that? Okay, so let's start out with fresh linen. Fresh linen is kind of this cream color right here. <laughs> and fresh linen is your laundry day scent. If you're a laundry scent person, this is for you. I'm not so much a laundry person, like it weirds me out a little bit. If I want to smell like that, like I can just smell like a dryer sheet. Um, dryer sheets are getting really like classy, by the way. You know, back in the day, it was like bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> they were like the, the bounce dryer sheets. And they were just super basic. They had a very distinctive smell. But now, like, I'm not satisfied until I've put like botanical mist and like orchid noir into my dryer. Like my clothes deserve better, you know? Like these, these laundry sheets are sophisticated, you know? This, you're getting a very strong cotton in it. The notes they've given here is fresh cotton and white floral. That's it, those two. And I could, I could see how that's the case. Um, in the more extensive notes on this, they did say cotton blossom. And I think there was another blossom too. Jasmine too was in it. You very strongly get a cotton and maybe even a cotton soap but or soapiness but there's like there's oh my gosh there's such a freshness here and the after smell if you will is floral and is jasmine and again it has that really authentic botanical outdoors kind of vibe to it so i'm excited to burn this one because while it is obviously a laundry scent i think this might be one that would appeal to people who are not usually gravitating toward those kinds of scents. Winter White. Winter White. Let me tell you what this is a dupe for. Capri Blue Volcano. And I don't even like Capri Blue Volcano. I'm like the only one in the world who doesn't love that scent. But I like this. So if you've smelled Capri Blue Volcano, it's like this citrus accord that's sparkling sparkling at the top and then it leans a little bit perfumey and a little bit heavy. This is Capri Blue without the perfuminess and without the heaviness, which is making me love it. It is a sparkling citrus and I would say it's probably more a sparkling orange than anything else. Freshly cut. I mean, just wow. It's a lot of sparkling citrus. And then the label here says zesty citrus and fresh cut balsam. So if you smell enough for it way underneath, you do get something that's a little herbal and a little bit balsam. I apologize for that very loud truck. 
but I have to really, really smell for it. So I'm wondering if upon burning this, maybe the citrus will lift off and it'll give us a nice balsam underneath. Obviously the balsam is what is putting this into the winter category for them. So I really want to see that come through. Capri blue, but a little bit more austere. There's more of a stark simplicity to it. It's a couple elements, sparkling citrus and tree. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Um, cashmere. Cashmere is the only one in this collection I'm not sure about. It's a beautiful color wax. So this is your men's cologne. Um, and true to the candles in general, there's a softness and a creaminess to it, which is saving it from being just very like body axe smelling. It's smooth and it's creamy and it's well blended, but it's a fairly basic men's cologne. I can't say that it doesn't smell fairly expensive, like it's not cheap, but it's men's cologne. So the notes here are Amalfi lemon, bergamot, mineral water, and sheer leather. And when I looked in the notes online, musk is a large part of it too. So for like a men's, traditional men's cologne, you usually do see like cedar woods, leathers, musks, and then you've got some range of like citrus on the top, often bergamot. And it's the citrus combined with the leather, musk, wood that creates a very traditional cologne scent that we kind of associate with. So I don't know if I'm loving this, but who knows? Upon burning it, there's always surprises. The candle that you thought you were gonna burn every day for the rest of your life, then you end up burning it and you like hate the performance and it doesn't have a good throw. And then the candle that you hate it on, <laughs> for those of you who watched my cherry chai candle review <laughs> last week, the candle you hate it on is the one that you end up repurchasing weirdly. Okay, so let's talk about um, the one that I bought at the grocery store. Here's tarragon basil right here. Tarragon basil, beautiful green. Yeah, so the notes that they've listed here are basil, tarragon, mint, and cedar wood. Um, I can tell you right now that it's mostly mint and mostly basil, okay? Um, I don't even like a mint candle. This is primarily mint. So this is mint in your face, but it's a botanical mint. It's not a mint extract. It's not a mint oil. It's like you got mint leaves from the grocery store or plucked them from your garden and then chopped them and then put them up to your nose and smelt them. It is a fresh botanical mint. And then underneath, is all the basil. So once that mint lifts off, then you round out, and the basil is a cross between Thai basil and Italian basil. It's a true basil, but it's just a little bit spicy. Just a little bit spicy, yeah. Um, I love this. Man, I really want this to perform well because it is gorgeous and so great for spring. Those of you who love authenticity, who love the garden scents, who love the botanicals, you've got to check this out. Those of you who like the tomato vines, something to check out, okay? I've only got two left here. Let's go Palo Santo. I love a good Palo Santo, okay? I love that, I love that combo. Um, oh my gosh, Palo Santo, it's great. To be honest, this is, I know I said that the Bath and Body Works Palo Santo was for every man, even if you didn't like Palo Santo. This is even more so because this is mixed with some things. Palo Santo, tonka bean, black cedar, and smoky musk. Man, again, creamy and mixed to perfection, mostly woody. So you've got the Palo Santo and the cedar in this and it comes across smoky musk. I can see the musk. If the smoke is there, it's a very genteel, tamed smoke. A lot of cream, a lot of tonka bean, maybe some vanilla. Oh man, that's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's neither masculine nor feminine. It is just perfect perfection. Okay, 
I, I probably like a little bit more of a woodiness and a little bit more of a outdoorsy ruggedness. Like I can go there. Um, this is a little more tame than I sometimes like, but I love it. Okay, Driftwood. Driftwood is right here. This is an amazing candle. Driftwood says sesame oil, creamy amber, and cotton flower. Let me tell you something. I go back and forth on this candle. So every time I pick it up, I smell something different in it. And I think, maybe not. So I smelled this initially and I'm like, I think there's patchouli in this. This sounds like a, smells like a Halloween candle. Then I picked it up again. And I thought, no, this is a cashmere candle. It's like sandalwood and, and amber. And it's really sweet, you know? Cotton. It's got cotton in it, right? Then I picked it up again and I'm like, no, that's beachy. That's super beachy. I'm smelling salt water, maybe even a little bit of coconut. Like that's that's a beach vibe, right? And then I picked it up again and I was like, this is laundry day. <laughs> I think this is just, this is just laundry. So this candle is a chameleon. It is so fantastic. When I looked at all of the lists of everything online, I did notice that they had the white floral and orange blossom in it, which they have in several of their candles. And that orange blossom is not only giving it a fresh floral, but it's also making it kind of tropical smelling. There's the, whatever their blossoms are that they go to are so versatile. They just seem to invoke like not only a garden botanical, but they can go kind of tropical. They can go, I don't know. They can go kind of laundry with the cotton blossom. It's just a fantastic, versatile candle. Again, neither masculine nor feminine. When I first smelled it, I thought, oh, this is a masculine candle. Now I'm not so sure. I mean, it's so well balanced. The only one here that's like the true masculine, I think is cashmere. And upon burning it, it may really soften too. Friends, I know that that was a super long video. I apologize. But isn't this exciting? I am so excited. Please let these burn well. Please let the throw be good because I love this company. I love these candles. I love what they offer. And I love the aesthetic. So stay tuned for those burns. And I'll definitely link the website down below. Check them out. Check it out at your grocery store. Maybe your grocery store will have it. And I'll see you in the next one.